to throw it way back and just say I was a big fan of the Chronicles of Narnia soundtrack growing up. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. And you, you know, being the composer, you set the tone for the whole movie. Without the music, the dialogue would be great, the script would be great, but we wouldn't be emotionally involved as an audience. Well, you know, this film, this film surprisingly got an, uh, uh, it, it's obviously got what you would expect, some thrills, it's very adventurous, but it has got a, it's got an emotional beat to it. It's got a, it's got a heart to it, which I love. There's a, there's a child in it who, you know, I bought some of my children, not all, some. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a, there's a child who, ha who plays quite a major part in, in the Jason Statham's character, kind of softening him. It's not his child. But, um, no, there's, there's a real, there's a decent core to this movie that's, that's about relationships. But basically it's about a big, big old shark racing around, causing havoc. And, you know, that's such fun to compose for. You know, as you say, with, with the Chronicles of Narnia, I latched on to, well, it was the little child, the small one, Lucy. You know, and her stepping through the wardrobe and all that. And that was where the magic came. With this movie, the moment we sense the Megalodon, there's a kind of musical signature that you'll hear, I hope. Have you seen the film? Well, I hope, I hope when you see it, you'll know, you'll feel that shark is nearby because of something that's going on on the soundtrack. And what are some of the struggles of, do you get to watch a rough cut of the film yeah. before composing, or yeah. what is that process like? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm given a copy of the film, uh, and I have to work with it. Otherwise, I can't, you know, I am a film composer, so I'm working to the film. Um, but, you know, they're always shuffling the pack. They're always moving around scenes, shortening scenes. So I'm often playing catch-up. You know, I'm often... You know, I, I'll finish a scene, th three or four minute music cue, and then maybe the next day my assistant will come and say, uh, Harry, I think you're going to have to look at that scene again. And I'm like, why? Oh, they've taken two minutes out of it, or they've added two minutes to it. So that's, you know, that's what being a film composer is. And if you, you know, if you, can't, if you can't deal with that, then you can't really be a film composer. Because it's a collaborative sport, this. It's not, this isn't golf. It's a team sport. It's not, it's not you against the world. Being, being the composer is wonderful, and it's, but it's, it's a part of a, big, a bigger thing. Probably like the production designer or the costume designer or those other, those other crafts. Very much so. And what's, the, what's your favorite song that you've composed for this that people should look out for in the movie? Uh, maybe the final cue in the movie. Um, without spoiling it, hey, this film has a happy ending. Yeah, uh, no, but there's, 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 there's kind of an uplifting moment at the end of the movie um, where all the characters review they basically have each have a line or two to sum up what's happened um, and they remember some of their friends who didn't make it um, and the music had to be quite emotional and kind of lift you towards the end of the movie so that was my favorite cue to compose Perfect. well thank you so much for your time thank you Gosh, you're making me feel old thinking you like really? the, the Chronicles of Narnia <laughs> I wasn't that yeah. young when I was, it was like yeah, no, I was in middle school uh-huh yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was great it was beautiful, okay. thank you.